Comparison of different cloning vectors. At the end, after discussing different type of cloning vectors, we can summarize them. We started our discussion with a bacterial plasmid. You have the idea that plasmids they can uh, replicate independently of the host chromosome because of having its own region of replication and it has the ability to clone around 10 kilobase to uh, sometime up to 15 kilobase DNA uh, fragment and one of the example of the artificially constructed uh, plasmid it is PBR322. Next we discussed some plasmids uh, of the bacteriophage lambda that have the ability to clone up to 23 kilobase DNA fragments uh, especially if we use replacement type of vector and here we discuss different type of chiron vector uh, if you remember. After that uh, we also focused on a different type of cosmic vector that can clone up to 45 to uh, 52 uh, kilobase DNA fragments and if we want to clone larger DNA fragments uh, of course, then uh, bacterial artificial chromosome and yeast artificial chromosome, they are important. Uh, uh, especially jo yeast artificial chromosome hai, ye 2000 kilo base tak DNA fragment ko uh, clone kar sakta hai. Uh, isi tarah se, uh, different type of uh, vector like uh, shuttle vector or expression vector par bhi briefly focus kiya. Now we can compare them the form of table that is uh, what is the maximum DNA insert that can be cloned by using different type of cloning vectors we can discuss about PBR322 the host organism it is E. coli and it can clone up to 10 to 15 kilobase DNA fragment and of course lambda phages uh, next one again they can infect E. coli as the host organism and this is the DNA fragment that may be up to 25 kilo base DNA fragment that is important. Next one are the lambda cosmids. They can clone up to 45 or sometimes 52 kilo base DNA fragment. And then another type of phage vectors that we not focused mainly at it is P1 phage. And that can clone 70 to 100 kilo base DNA fragments. Then P1 type packaging system here. The host organism again is E. coli and it can clone up to 300 kilo base DNA fragment and bacterial artificial chromosome it can clone up to 300 kilo base and the larger DNA fragments it can be cloned by using X yeast artificial chromosome and the host organism is Chiromyces and it can clone between 200 to 2000 kilo base DNA fragments. So, this is the comparison of different cloning vectors that can be used to clone different fragments of DNA that are variable in their sizes.